Hey everybody, Mr. MathBog here, and this is uh, lesson is on estimate quotients, which is division using compatible numbers. So uh, we're going to be given some big numbers, and we'll use some compatible numbers to estimate these. Okay? So how can we compa uh, uh, use compatible numbers to estimate quotients? So here's a problem here: a zebra's heart beats 138 times in three minutes. About how many times does it beat in one minute? Okay, so we can use compatible numbers to estimate quotients, and, com and compatible numbers are numbers that are easier to use uh, mentally, uh, easier to compute mentally, uh, instead of, you know, 138, okay? So, uh, so a couple of questions here. Will a zebra's heart beat uh, more or fewer than 138 times in one minute? Well, if it beats 138 times in three minutes, and one minute is less than three minutes, and this one's going to be less than. And so what math operation are we going to use to solve this problem? We're going to use division to solve this problem, okay? So it'll be fewer times in one minute because it, it beats this many in three minutes. So in one minute should be fewer, and we're going to divide, okay? So here we go. We're going to uh, estimate 138 divided by three, okay? So step one is to find numbers that are close to 138 that divide easily by 3 and use basic facts, okay? So 138, I'm going to just focus on the tens digits right here. This 13, this is 13 tens. 138, uh, this 13 right here is 13 tens. So 12 is uh, right below 13, so 12 divided by 3 is nice and easy. I can divide 12 divided by 3, that equals 4. So 120 divided by 3 can be easy, easily done also. Same with 15. 15 is our next multiple of 3. 15 divided by 3 is easy. That's 5. So 150 is also easily divided by 3. Okay? So, uh, and we're going to use 150 because 138 is a little bit closer uh, to uh, uh, 150 than it is uh, to 120. 100, 120 is 18 away from 138, but 150 is only 12 away from 138, so we're going to use 150 to use this as an estimate. So step two, use place value. So 150, how many tens is 150? Well, here's the tens right here. It is 15 tens. Okay, and then so uh, we're going to go ahead and do 15 divided by 3. Well, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 15 tens divided by 3 is going to give us 5 tens, okay? So 150 divided by 3 is going to be 50 because that is 5 tens. So there's my tens right there. All right, so let's answer the question. So a zebra's heart beats about 50 times a minute, okay? About, all right? So um, let, let's do another example. Use compatible numbers to find uh, two estimates that the quotient is between. So the quotient is going to be 1,327 divided by 5. Okay. So we're going to find two numbers close to 1,327 that divides easily, and we're going to focus on this 13 hundreds. Okay. So this three ends in the hundred spot. So what numbers are easily divided by 5 that are between uh, 13, this 13 right there, okay? So uh, 10 divided by 5 is a nice basic fact, so we're going to divide 1,000 divided by 5. And 15 divided by 5 is also nice and easy. 15 divided by 5 is 3, so 1,500 divides easily by 5 as well, okay? So we're going to use those basic facts to divide. So uh, 1,327 is going to be somewhere between uh, uh, somewhere between this number and this number right here. So 1,000 and 1,500. Okay, so step two. Oops, let me move that up there. Step two. Let's divide each of those numbers by five. We're going to divide a thousand divided by five. And we're going to divide uh, 1,500 divided by five. Okay, 1,000 is is how many hundreds right there? Well, here's the hundreds right there, so it's going to be 10 hundreds. 1,500 is 15 hundreds because 5 is in the 500 spot. So uh, I get 10 hundreds divided by 5 and 15 hundreds divided by 5. Okay, so 10 divided by 5 is 2, so this is going to be 200. 15 divided by 5 is going to be 3, so this is going to be 3 hundreds right there, okay? So that's what goes right there, okay? And then so this is 2 hundreds or 200, 200, zero, zero, and this is 3 hundreds or 300, zero, zero, okay? So uh, 1,327 is between 200 and 300. 
All right, easy enough. So explain which estimate, the 200 or the 300, is more reasonable for this quotient right here, 1,327 divided by 5. Okay, and um, since this one's closer to uh, the bigger estimate, the 1,500, um, it's closer to our dividend. Remember, this is our dividend right here. This is number is our dividend. Since it's uh, closer to our dividend, 1,327, then 300 would be more of a reasonable answer on that. Okay, hope that makes sense. It's a nice, easy, fast lesson. Okay, everybody, take care.